Hello and welcome to my review of Indecent. Um, a play now closed on Broadway because the play closed August 6th. I actually saw this play August 2nd within like the last week of its showing. Um, Indecent tells a story about this Jewish Polish playwright named Shomel Ash and all the controversy surrounding his play The God of Vengeance for which all the cast members and everybody else involved in the God of Vengeance play got arrested on grounds of obscenity. And the obscene part in the God of Vengeance was this really prominent rain scene in which two female actresses make out in the rain. And it's supposed to be like this very um, like pure romantic um, scene. But once the play transfers from Europe to America, it doesn't go well at all. In fact, God of Vengeance only lasted about like six weeks before they shut down, shut it down and everyone got arrested. And um, yeah, that's that's essentially the summary, the gist of Indecent. Um, what I liked about Indecent was the fact that throughout the play, well, on stage, they had these um, screens where it would tell you um, what language the actors were speaking in. For example, when they were in Europe, they would speak either German or Yiddish or whatever. And on the screen, it would tell you actress, like the character's name, speaking in Yiddish or speaking in German. And they would speak English, the actors would speak English between each other because you know that's their normal language. Once they, once the characters in the play, in Indecently, transferred to um, America, they would speak English but with like a German accent and the screens would tell you um, character speaking in German and you know there's or better yet they're speaking in English but they would have like a German accent or a Yiddish accent which I thought was totally amazing because um, or better yet whatever accent you know Americans would perceive these people to speak if they came from that country and I thought it was so cool like I, I don't know I really I really enjoyed that for some reason I thought it was really cool very interesting how they used um how they used the English and different accents to perceive like whether or not the character was speaking in like an in a language that wasn't English I thought that was really nice um that was like my favorite part about the play. Um, another thing that I really, really liked was that at the end of the play, they portrayed, they actually um, showed the rain scene in like its original form. Because God of Vengeance is an actual play, like Shummel Ash is a real guy. And they actually, at the end of the play, did the rain scene in Yiddish. And I thought it was really nice. Like it was really nice. Like they actually had rain fall down from like the ceiling and everything and the two actresses they're like jumping around and they're like showing this the love that you know the characters were supposed to portray in the god of vengeance so i thought that was really really nice that we actually got to see the rain scene that the, the scene that all these guys all these actors way back then got arrested for so that was nice um what i didn't like about indecent it's not like i didn't like um it, it got a bit confusing at times for me personally. Um, I'm probably like the only person that got confused. But me personally, I got confused because um, there were only like about 10 actors for the whole entire show. In the whole of the production, there's probably like 10 actors. And they would switch between roles. And I found it confusing when an actor would switch into a different role because it's not like they changed clothes or anything like that. So it got a bit confusing. There was one, I can't even like tell you which, um, which actor, which character I got confused by because in the playbill, um, they don't give you the name. I don't know if you can see this. They don't give you the name of the character. It just says actor, actor, actor next to the actual actor's um, name. So, yeah, I, I got confused. But aside from that, it was pretty good. Like Aside from that, I, I wasn't too confused. Another thing that I liked about Indecent is the fact that it actually included like a little bit of music and a little bit of dancing, which really helped 
with the play because it it brought it back to like its roots like it made you feel like you know you were part of the experience like you were there with them like experiencing their culture which i thought was very nice plus it helped because i'm not a big fan of plays and it was a nice little surprise to hear music and dancing and and the singing so it it definitely like upped up the play for me so that was good um overall there's nothing negative i like like there's not many things that i think was bad about this play overall i thought it was a really nice play um what i liked about this play like overall i think the most important thing about this play is the fact that it opens up conversation about um censorship and what can we put on stage what can't we put on stage should there be a limit like should we block art should we not like you know is society ready for something so different you know so i thought I thought it brought up really good conversation and that's it. I think it's amazing that even though God of Vengeance was written so many years ago, it's still relevant today. Like, you know what I mean? Like the idea of like censorship and the idea of, um, you know, art, art as being revolutionary because God of Vengeance at that time was revolutionary. There was no like lesbians on stage on american stage so the fact that it was the first to pave the way i thought it was pretty cool art is revolutionary and it shouldn't be blocked and censorship like when it comes to art shouldn't be a thing like people should be able to freely express themselves and bring in new revolutionary ideas so that's what i think i appreciated most about indecent the fact that it brings up these conversations and these ideas and these thoughts so that was it. I'm glad that people fought to keep Indecent open because it, it was going to close, but people fought to keep it open for like an extra two or three weeks. So I'm glad I got the opportunity to see Indecent when I did. That is it. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed my review of Indecent. Not that much. Um, yeah, I'm very sorry that this came out so late and, you know, you guys are probably not going to be able to see Indecent, but um, definitely check out if you have time or if you're interested, check out um, God of Vengeance and, you know, other little little jewels of theater. Things that paved the way for the way the thing the way that theater is now. So that's it.